Okay, hi everybody. So in this video we're going to do a little bit of coordinate geometry. We're going to find the equation of the line that passes through the point 4, 5 and is parallel to the y-axis. Now that parallel to the y-axis, that, that means something kind of special here. Uh, if we draw this out, okay, uh, the point 4, 5, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it's the point right here. This is our y-axis, here's our x-axis. We're looking for the point uh, sorry, the line that is parallel to the y-axis that passes to the point. Well, that's going to be this line right here. This is a vertical line. Okay. Now, in a lot of the other work that I've done, I have preferred using the point-slope form of the equation of the line or uh, the, the slope-intercept form. But neither one of these is actually really going to work here. And the reason for that is because... In these cases here, the assumption really is that what you're dealing with here is a linear function. This, yoink, let me do it in red here, this is not a function. And so we really can't represent it using that same form, which at first might sound like, oh, shoot, why math? Why do you got to get really complicated like this? But actually, this is, this is a pretty easy thing to, to skirt around. If I was to identify this line, the, the really the key aspect of it is that all of the x-coordinates, okay, all the x-coordinates, okay, all of them are 4. They're all exactly the same. So we might say, okay, so then, therefore, I might just write x is equal to 4. And yeah, that that's exactly it. That is a good equation of that line. That generalizes the property of the, the line there. However, you might be expected to bring that 4 over and write that as x minus 4 equals 0. There, these are referring back to two different uh, forms of the equation of the line where we go ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 uh, or ax plus by uh, sorry, is equal to c. Okay, uh, the two different forms of the equation of the line. And these ones actually work regardless of whether you're working with a function or not. And so that's why we can write the equation of the line uh, like this.